Hey guys, Mike Chang here in Lisbon, Portugal. Just got in yesterday. Been trying out all the best egg tart places. Today is Monte Garia. This is the third egg tart place I've been to since getting here. Oh, look how to caramelize this on top. Ooh, this thing might be one of the flakiest it has so far. This might be the best one I tried. Wow. For all you egg tart lovers, try a Portuguese egg tart from Portugal. There's just nothing else like it. I mean, the flaky crust, the custard. Mm. I've been eating it multiple times a day. It just makes me want it more and more. Anyway, before heading out to film my dinner, a big thank you and shout out to the sponsor of this next video, Surfshark VPN. I've been talking about Surfshark VPN for several years now. It's still a tool I use every single day. Let me tell you why. First of all, people are traveling more. Everyone's connected to all sorts of Wi-Fi hotspots, whether at cafes, restaurants, airports, train stations. And a lot of times these hotspots are not very secure and great opportunities for people to have access to your personal information. An example I always give whenever you're Googling something or chatting with your friends about something, all of a sudden ask for whatever you're talking about, whatever is related to whatever you're talking about, start popping up everywhere. This is just one example of people getting access to your personal information. And what a VPN is, is a virtual private network. And what Surfshark VPN does is that it encrypts and secures your personal information before it goes over the internet. So people you don't want having access to your private info, they won't have access to it. Also Surfshark has something called Surfshark alerts. So when someone's trying to gain access to something like your email, you're gonna get notified right away. Also on the entertainment side, if you wanna check out what Netflix catalogs look like in other countries, you can actually utilize Surfshark VPN to make streaming services like Netflix think that you are in a different country so you gain access to their video catalog. And I use this so much here when I'm traveling outside the US, I don't have access to US streaming services. So I can actually use my VPN to make the streaming services think that I'm actually in the US. So I gain access to my US streaming services. Also, a lot of times US websites don't even work properly when you're in a different country. So I utilize Surfshark VPN pretty much just, just to pay my bills. So if you wanna get this try, go to my link down below. Use my promo code Dumpling. You'll get 83% off and you can try it out for 30 days. If you don't like it for whatever reason, get your money back. All right, I'm gonna finish these and head off to dinner and enjoy the video. just came into this buffet. First of all, it's beautiful. It's such a nice bright layout. I was just sitting under the sun and the buffet itself is a spectacle. Right so when you walk in, there's some uh, hot cooking stations that they say there's still gonna be so much more food coming. And then the cold food station is where it gets so pretty. Look at this. They made this, this, this beautiful juice. Apricot, strawberry, and apple juice. Mm. It's so delicious. And drinks, everything is included in this buffet. So the cold session looks like there's sashimi. There's all sorts of little food items on spoons that I, I don't recognize. I can't wait to just put it in my mouth. A lot of dessert, cheeses, baked items. Let's just go get started. Round one, just got some cold dishes. Everything is so pretty here and elegant. First couple of bites is some beans and some sashimi over rice. I think maybe a little bit of soy sauce in here. Mm. That just like butter. Mm. A mix of beans with this fish. I think it goes pretty well together. This fish is so buttery and delicate. And the beans are really chewy and scrumptious. Mm. Beans have little bits of ham inside too. Mm. 
pretty perfect contrast and texture. But this drink is so good. Looks like a little bit of rare seared beef. Mm. <laughs> this thing is marinated, a little sweet, very tender. Mm. I think some kind of smoked fish. Mm. I think this is a whelk. And add in some of that delicious sour onion sauce. Whatever that sauce is called. I think it's called an onion vinaigrette. I had that first at that awesome seafood restaurant in the UK. That sauce is so good on any seafood. Anyway, meet us here. Let's go get some. Holy moly. Can we get some of each? Wow, that is gorgeous. Thank you so much. Thank you. This looks so good. Everything looks so good. First off, the little burger. Heck yeah. And this thing's just oozing cheese, a little bit of onions in here as well. Mm. Look how juicy this little burger is. The beef patty is perfect. The bun is toasted so nicely. A little caramelized onions for a bit of sweetness. And it's all covered in that gooey cheese. Mmm. Mmm. Look at this. I didn't even realize I didn't bite into it. It's a little foie gras burger. That is just crazy ridiculous. Wow. All right, I gotta go back for maybe 20 more of those burgers. Holy moly, that's good. Mmm. Mm. The beef and lamb. Delicious, especially the lamb. That's some next level tenderness. I think a little bit of risotto. Mm. Truffle risotto. My heart is just like racing at this point. Wow, what a breakfast buffet this is. Mm. Mm. The fish is in some kind of citrusy butter sauce. <laughs> Every bite I'm putting in my mouth, I'm just recoil a little bit by how good the flavors are. Mm. Wow, it's called a croque monsieur. It's a sandwich with truffle inside. It looks like toasted cheese on top, ham as well. This is one of the greatest things I ever put in my mouth. Oh, I love this place. I never had a French food buffet before. It was blowing my mind all over the place. All right, got some cold dishes. Even the roll is hot here. Croissant, I bet you this is gonna be good. Mm. Toasty fresh, a little finger sandwich. Looks like with, oh my gosh, a lot of stuff in here. It actually feels really dense. Hmm. Tomatoes, lettuce, chicken, egg. I just saw this grilled salmon with a touch of torch. Mm. Hmm. Fatty, melt in your mouth salmon with that delicious char. Also, they had a ton of these. I think it's for guava with truffle. Of course, had to give myself another one of these burgers. This is probably one of many that I will have. There's not much in the world that's better than this. Mmm. That's perfection. I can get my fill on burgers and then 
The dessert looks amazing as well. One last plate of the burger, croque, and truffle risotto. This breakfast buffet has been exquisite. Mm. I don't want to go anywhere else. I just want to come here and just eat this all day long. And I can't wait to check out the dessert. All right, got one of each item from the dessert section. Start off with some chocolate mousse. Ah, now so silky and exquisite. Ah, it's like a gentle chocolate blanket covering the top of my tongue. I don't know what this is. I think a little meringue, a little wafer. Mmm. Wow, that's lemony. A lot of meringue type items on the dessert bar. And they're all so good. This is a pavlova, and this thing, I think this is my favorite dessert item so far, above the chocolate mousse. I mean, this thing is like a cloud sitting on a sugary, tiny, crumply little cup. All the meringue is so unbelievably delightful. I mean, I don't eat meringue much, but I feel like this is on a whole different level. Mmm. This little cream tart is sitting on some super crispy caramelly bottom that tastes kind of like cereal. This is so good. Everything is so good. Mm. The dessert section is nothing short of transformative. Every single item is unique and different. Everything is not made just with chocolate mousse. Like this thing has a brownie cake on the bottom, a thicker, richer chocolate on top. Oh. oh, that chocolate is dark too. A little hint of bitterness. Such an amazing brunch. I got a big dinner coming up, so I'm um, gonna go for a walk around Paris and prepare my stomach for that, but this has left such an impression. I mean, just the degree of quality and care. I wouldn't say every single dish. I need to taste that. We've just been walking around Paris for the last five hours, starving now, and what's better than an awesome French buffet? A second potentially awesome French buffet. So here there's asparagus salad pasta, beef tartare, green beans with strawberry, a bunch of pate, so there's sardine, there's colchon, there's boudin, cheese here, cold cuts, oh, there's ice cream here too. Some soup, eggs, seafood, salads. There's gonna be meat and dishes over there. And here's the bar, you can grab whatever you want. Drinks here, water, everything, just grab it yourself. Time for round one. Duck and foie salad. What is this? A little bit of dressing. Egg. Oh, he's just putting us fish onto the grill right now. Try some of this soup. This looks good. Green bean and strawberry salad. All right, try some of the soup. Mm. Oh yeah, this is so good. I don't know what vegetables are in here. Well, I could turn vegetarian for this soup. Wow, it's creamy, it's spicy, it's buttery. There's so many great flavors in this, try this. Mm. Huh? It's probably broccoli, I don't even care. If this is broccoli, I'm not a broccoli lover. Mm. Unbelievably delicious. There's so many things here. Literally grilling right in front of us. 
The fish is on the grill. I'm imagining this other stuff gonna be on the grill too. All the bread is freshly made here. And when you run out, you just go back to the bread maker and get yourself more bread. Asparagus is so interesting. Roasted asparagus. Mm. That was amazing. That asparagus is so good. I'm raving about the vegetables right now, left and right. I mean, you taste the char. The asparagus is sweet and juicy. It's absolutely phenomenal. Mm. Put some of this hummus on my freshly baked bread. Mm. You can't beat this, really can't. Strawberry green bean salad. Never thought of it before, but a little savory, juicy, and sweet. That really works. So I'm gonna put some pepperoni on my bread, throw in some hummus. Mm. Oh, the hot dishes are coming up. I gotta finish this fast. Smear some of that for a on your bread. Mm. Round one's gonna be so excited for what's to come. All right, the hot dishes look incredible. Let me show you what we got here. First of all, roasted pork chop. Look at the crispy outside shell that's already bubbling. So much juice when I plug my fork in here. Look at this. The meat is just incredibly juicy. Oh man. out of this world. I can't believe I'm eating this pork on the buffet right now. Oh my gosh. This might be one of the most tender pork I've ever put in my mouth. Look how easily the meat comes off. I taste the herbs, I taste the garlic. The skin is toasty, some bits crunchy. All of it's so incredible. This is a fish. Mm. And the homemade sauce, it's herby, it's tart, it's creamy, it's so awesome. Polenta, oh, that just tastes like a dream. Cheesy and creamy, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of smoke. This is the lasagna. Oh my God, I immediately need like 10 more servings of this. Mm -hmm. Toasted cheese on top. Inside, delightful pasta with so much meat. Wow, 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 wow. It's spicy, it's hearty. It's the perfect thing to dip my bread in. Oh. This place is absolutely incredible. I mean, everything just tastes so hearty and delicious. It makes you feel good. They put a couple more things, so I gotta give it a try. Oh, this dish is a North African dish. I think it's goat. Oh, look at this marrow that's in here, too. And it's served with couscous. Mmm. Lamb is ridiculously tender. Couscous a little spicy, very savory. Soaks in all that juice from the lamb so well. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Also, I got some orzo pasta. 
Mmm. This is one of my favorite dishes here. Wow. It's spinach, cream, asparagus. Buttery, creamy, a little citrusy, and just so amazing. Mmm. Yeah, definitely one of my favorite things here. All right, jump into dessert really quick. Some tiramisu, milk ice cream. Oh, that soft serve is great. Milk ice cream mixed in with some, I think some chocolate pudding, some tiramisu with this item that tastes like lemon meringue. Mm. That I'm sure they made right here in this bakery. Mm. The dessert items are not as fancy as this morning, but it just tastes so homey. Like grandma made it. Right, let's see if I missed anything. <laughs> They brought out steak and risotto. Wait, is this steak? It's duck and it's wonderful. Oh, mm. The skin is coated with this sweet and spicy clay that's just so delicious. Chase it with a little bit of the risotto. Mmm, it's as delicious as well, but holy moly, this is good. This looks awesome. This is the stuff they're selling at the bakery. This is a strawberry tart. Some kind of cream. Oh, this is, looks phenomenal. Mm. Fresh strawberries. The cream is so mild and cloud-like. All over a crumbly cookie bottom. And this is the other one. I don't know what this is. It kind of looks like a, some kind of dome. Oh, wow. Oh, I got a giant lemony dome. Oh, you're really gonna wanna pucker up after that. It's sour, a little bitter because of the lime zest. It kinda tastes like a giant dome of key lime pie. This is a chocolate tart. What? Wow. Chunks of milky chocolate sitting on top of almost like a fudge like crust. All these are so, so good. This is an amazing homey buffet. Very traditional French fare, and it feels like you're eating at someone's kitchen. Like this whole atmosphere, the layout, the flavor, everything just gives you such a comforting feeling. And plus, the people here are so incredibly nice. They were really, really nice this morning as well, too. But the vibe of this place is just really relaxing and nice. So, a couple buffets down here in Paris, and both of these, I'm gonna say, are must tries. I mean, they're similar, but yet very, very different. So if you are a buffet lover, or you just wanna try a wide array of delicious French food, definitely check these buffets out. Of course, all the information for both places are listed down below for you. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.